Well, you can't see or smell it, but it could be putting your health at risk in your home. January is National Radon Action Month. The Environmental Protection Agency says radon is a leading cause of lung cancer deaths among non-smokers. This morning, we're taking a closer look at radon and how to protect yourself. Joining us live is Lane Lyon. He is a realtor and managing broker at Coldwell Banker. Good morning. Hey, Corey, good morning to you. Thanks for having me on. This is so important to talk about. So radon is something that's typically tested for when you buy or sell a home, but can be tested at any time, right? That is right. And it's estimated that one in 15 homes, Corey, have elevated levels of radon. And oftentimes the homeowners don't even know about it. And I often think about it when it comes up in a real estate transaction, how long the seller lived there and didn't have any idea. That's what Radon Action Month is all about creating awareness. So this morning I have three things you should know when it comes to radon. First of all, radon is a radioactive gas. It comes from the natural breakdown of uranium underground. It's found in homes all over, including right here in the metro area. It moves up through holes and cracks in your foundation. Here's the good news though, it is fixable. Mitigation systems can vent it out, lower those radon levels. The EPA and the Surgeon General recommend all homes be tested for radon. Experts suggest every two years, in fact, when you do, you'll be given a number, and here's the magic number, four picocuries per liter. I sound like a scientist. That is the number that is considered elevated. Any amount can be considered harmful, Corey. And here's the important thing. Radon levels can vary from house to house. So your neighbor might test and radon levels are low. You do the same test radon levels are higher. And when that happens, you can actually get a mitigation system. They cost between $750 and $1,000. Do your homework. There are companies who specialize in this, but it will bring you peace of mind. I think one big tip from the graphic that we just had up is testing every two years. I think a lot of people will do it when they buy a house, but then they don't continue testing while they're in it. And as you were saying, the levels can change. Absolutely, and it's important just to make sure you're doing this. And, and the other important thing about this as well is when it comes to testing, there's two ways to do it, Corey. We talk a lot about testing these days anyway. The rapid radon test, if you will, is about 48 hours. It costs $150. This is a test that the home inspection companies do when you buy or sell a house. They'll do it for you without even having your house on the market. Or you can go to your home improvement store, $25, get a get your own home test, test for COVID, test for radon. It's all good news. It's all about your health, right? We recently did one of those really quick tests. It, it is very easy. Yeah. So real quick, yeah. I know you've talked a lot about our competitive market. Are home buyers okay. still asking yeah. for radon systems to be installed when they buy a home? It's such a great question because yes, a lot of buyers are, are kind of compromising and sacrificing. Radon mitigation is not required. However, a lot of home buyers are still writing in their offer that they're not gonna be nitpicky, but they will only ask for repairs, health, safety, or structural. And guess what? Radon is considered health. So home buyers are asking for it. If you want more information real quick, um, Corey, you can go to epa.gov. Also our state, the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment has a lot of resources on it. Really should educate yourself. It is an important topic. Yeah, don't waive that part of the agreement. I know everyone's right. waiving everything these days because mm -hmm. of how crazy the market is, but really some great tips this morning, Lane. Thank you. Have a great day.